Hey everyone, today we're going to be making a macrame wreath. Everything you need for this project is listed below. To start, you're going to take a 28 inch piece of string and fold it in half, and the top piece is going to make a little loop. You want to place that on top of your metal ring and fold it under, pulling the ends of the cord through the loop and tightening. This is called a lark's head knot. If you'd like to download our free knot guide, check out the description below. Continue making Lark's head knots with all of the 28 inch pieces of string so that you go all around the ring. Once all the pieces are attached, you're going to want to take the first four pieces and we're going to start making square knots. To make the square knot, you're going to take the right hand side and fold it under the two middle pieces and over the left piece. And then the left piece is going to go over the two middle pieces and through the loop on the right. Now take both ends of string and you're going to want to pull them tight. To continue with the square knot, you're going to do the opposite. The left hand goes under the two middle and over the right, and the right goes over the two middle and through the loop on the left. Once that's finished, pull tightly again. Let's zoom in for a close-up. To make the square knot, the right goes under the two middle and over the left and the left goes over the two middle and under the right. So pull it through the loop there. Now there's such thing as a right-handed and a left-handed square knot and if this doesn't feel natural for you, you can check out the others in our knot guide. Now we go under the two middle and over the right and then the right goes over the two middle and through the loop on the left. Here you can see a close up of what it's supposed to look like before you tighten. And you can tell exactly how the string is set up to make your square knot. Now pull tight and you're going to repeat the process going all the way through all the string. Once you have the first row of square knots completed, you're going to get started on the second row. The two strings to the left will not be included in these knots, so you'll want to take two strings from each knot and that's what you're going to use to create the new square knot on the second row. Continue down the row taking two strings from each square knot and creating a new square knot. Eventually you'll get all the way around and you'll have two strings left on the right hand side as well. Notice how I'm not tightening the second row of knots as close to the first row as we did to the top. This is just to make a little space. It looks better aesthetically at the end. For the third and final row of square knots, you're going to leave four strings off on the left hand side and still use the two middle strings from the square knots above to make your knot. For this last row, we're going to skip a knot to give it a bit of a triangle shape. After you make your first knot, skip the next four strings and move on to the next one. Continue down the ring, making only every second square knot and skipping four strings in between. Once you have completed all the knots, set it aside. Now grab your bunch of florals and separate into three different groups. Cut a few pieces of string and tie the three groups together. 
No fancy knots needed here, just tie them as if you were tying your shoelaces. Trim the ends of the string so they're not hanging out. Now we're going to position our florals on the ring to make them look pretty. And this may take a couple tries. Now take another piece of string, you'll want it to be about 5 feet long, and you're going to fold a loop at the top. The end of the loop doesn't need to be long, so make it about 2 inches long. Now we're going to create a barrel knot to keep all the florals in place. So you'll place the loop on top of the floral stems and squeeze them all together and start wrapping your string around all of the florals. This part can be a little bit tricky but essentially you'll want to be wrapping pretty tight and wrapping all the way up to the top of the loop. Let's get a bit closer here to show you what I'm doing. Now you can see a little bit there that the end of the string is still sticking out. We want that to happen. And we're moving all the way up to the top of the loop where eventually we will be bringing the string through. Once you've finished your knot and everything is secure, bring the end of your string through the loop and you're going to want to pull on both ends to make it tight. Pull the shorter string enough so that the loop goes inside the knot and you can't see it anymore. Now we're going to repeat the process, making another barrel knot on the other florals. So place your string up against the metal ring and the florals and wrap up to the top. Pull the string through the loop and pull both ends to tighten. Once you have all your florals on the metal hoop, feel free to adjust and trim the ends as necessary. And voila, a macrame wreath! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up.